Okay, we are live. So first of all, let me just say I'm so excited to be doing this with Women's Health Weekenders. And I have got for you a low impact, full body workout. And as a qualified trainer with over 25 years experience and YouTuber, I'm here to have a really fun workout with you. Now, what I would say you do need, make sure you've just got some water to hand. All the exercises we're gonna be doing today are standing up. Um, and how it's going to work is, and actually I'll tell you what, why don't you just start marching on the spot while I just explain the routine. So do that as a little bit of a warm up. We're going to do one minute where we tone through the shoulders, tone through the arms. We're going to turn, tone your back, your abs, your legs, your glutes. We're going to do whole body. And in between, we're then going to do a 30 second cardio move. So I'm going to get your heart rate up and toning as well. Now, because we're doing this live, there's every chance that things could go wrong. We're bound to have cats running. I've got my timer set here. Um, so I think what we'll do, why don't we just get started, you and I, right now, on doing a little bit of a warm up. So what I want you to do is just start doing a very light march on the spot for me, all right? So the key thing is with a warm up, the warm up is gonna help increase your core body temperature. The warmer your muscles are, the more pliable they are, the less likely we are to injure ourselves. But also the key thing is it makes it much more of an effective workout. So let's just keep marching. So the workout itself is going to take just over 30 minutes. Um, but then we're going to do some nice um, stretching and cool down afterwards. So the workout is going to fly by, plus we're going to do a couple of minutes doing a warm up. So what I want you to do now is let's just add in some shoulders on there. So just give me some shoulder rolls. All right, that's good. Marching that out. And this workout is really good. So if you're a complete beginner or perhaps you're used to doing workouts, but you want something that's a little bit low impact, then this is gonna be ideal. All right, so what we're gonna do now, let's just reach it across. Let's just step out. So all I want you to be doing now is just mobilizing through all your joints. We're just warming up and let's just bring that back to a march for me. All right, that's good keeping that going. And what we're doing today is we're going to be using body weight. So we're just using, we're not using extra weights, we're just going to use like our arms, our legs, and it's a really good way to tone and strengthen through those muscles. Right, so I'm going to keep doing this coming, oh, I told you we would, have, we would have a cut on. I'm going to keep coming here because I'm looking at my timer on here. Right, so I reckon if you're warm enough, why don't we start now? So move number one, we're gonna do our shoulder circles. So what I want you to do with this is, let me just show you, stand with your feet so they're slightly hip width distance apart, tummy is tight, extend your arms out, and we're just gonna circle in one direction for 30 seconds, and we're gonna change and do the other um, angle, anti-clockwise, and we're going clockwise. So what I'm going to do, let me just quickly start my timer. So in position now, let's go for 30 seconds of doing it in one direction. Now what's key, I'm moving because I'm just coming to teach you, you stay where you are. Make sure you are keeping your fingertips in line with your shoulders for me, all right? So we're just going to keep circling, always make sure that we're keeping those tummy muscles pulled in, you've got your knees slightly bent good and if you have got a window in the room that you're doing this in right now just have a look at your reflection because sometimes our arms are down there even though we think they're up there so what I want you to do now circle it back the opposite way for me circle it back so now work in the opposite direction and what I'm doing right now I'm just toning through those shoulders okay that's good and then we're gonna do a 30 second interval of doing cardio all right, so let's just keep that going. And now you probably find that they're feeling quite challenging, but remember it's a challenge that really tones us. And give me another four, let's go three, two and one. Just release the arms. So this is the move now. We're gonna do this move, a really lovely, what I call skaters lunge. So let's just do that now, 30 seconds. So the great thing is with this one, adapt it to you. If you want to make it a little bit more challenging, then you can make that move 
bigger. You can make it more dynamic. And the great thing is with this, this is gonna be really helping to get your heart rate up. All right, that's good. So this is the move that we're gonna keep coming back to after we've spent one minute toning one specific part of your body. Okay, that's good. And just give me a few more seconds on this one. Then we're gonna work your arms, keeping that going. One side to the other. And let's go, last five, take it four. Three, two, and one. All right, so next one is gonna be those arms. We're gonna work your triceps. So what I want you to do is come into a, a split stance for me. Have your palms facing up towards the ceiling. And all we're gonna do is we're just simply gonna squeeze those arms up. All right, so let's do that. Exactly 60 seconds and just lift. So you stay where you are. I'm just gonna come over to you. Check you're still there, check you're still doing this. And we're working here, really, really working into those arms, palms face up and squeeze and pulse. So it's like a tiny, tiny pulse. And this is really activating those triceps, keeping that going, that's good. All right, well done. And actually what we'll do now, halfway through, let's just change leading legs. So have that other leg in front and just pulse those arms up for me. Pulse, pulse that up, that's good. So this is said, working the arms. So how we're doing this routine today, we're kind of working through your body. We're starting at the top, working all the way down to the bottom. Let's go another 10 seconds. If you can lift those arms even higher for me and really feel that through there, doing really well, keep going. That's good. Let's have a little look at my time. Let's go four, take it three, two and one and just shake those arms out. So let's just come back to that move. 30 seconds, there's our cardio, keeping that going. So today, you and I, all we're doing this is just gonna fly by on there. All right, that's good. Nice dynamic move from one side to the other. Let's keep that going and travel this around your room. You know, take it forwards, take it back, or if you prefer to, do it on the spot. <clears throat> All right, and give me another five seconds. And go three, two, and one. You just march it out. So let me show you the next move. So the next one now, I'm gonna be working through your chest. The way we're gonna do this, have your palms facing up, and all we're gonna do is squeeze the arms in and back. Squeeze them in and back. All right, so let's get ready. Knees slightly bent, tummy is tight. Let me see so I can, you can see my feet. Squeeze in and back. Squeeze it in and back. That's good. So what I'm doing here, you stay where you are. I'm just coming to talk to you is again, I want you to make sure you are keeping those elbows in line with your shoulders. And this now, we're working through what's known as your pectorials major, your carry exercising. So this is your muscle just here. And this is really amazing to help actually really lift the bust, help with your posture as well. It's a really lovely exercise. And of course, at the beginning, it feels really easy, but because we're doing these exercises for 60 seconds, it's then what we're doing is we're working endurance. So those muscles then start to fatigue, even though we're not overloading them with weight, we're challenging them with duration. All right, that's good. Let's keep that going. Let's just go for doing a few more. Really squeeze that in and back, palms still facing in. And give me four more. Let's go three, take it two and one, and just release. All right, let's bring it straight back now. So think of it today, I hope it's going to make sense, that this is a bit like a song. So you have a verse, have a chorus. Um, so our chorus is the cardio, which is this little bit here. And we're doing this for 30 seconds, then we go on to another verse, which is working another area. All right, that's good. We've got another 10 seconds, then we're going to work through the back and reach out across. That's good. And let's just go five, take it four, three, two, and one. So for this one, what we're gonna do is, you're gonna be in a slight bent position, arms here, and we're just gonna squeeze your arms back 
and then come back into center. So again here, always important, palms face in, we've got knees bent, and we're just gonna lift the arms up and then come back into the center. All right, so let's get ready to do that 60 seconds. So lift it up and then draw that back in. And we can do this one really nicely and slowly. And also, it's really important when you exercise, really focus, think about where you're working. So what we're doing here, we're working through the major muscles on the back, working through the latissimus dorsi as we open and close. And these sort of exercises, why it's really good. And you know, the bigger picture is not worrying so much. I mean, obviously we all want to look and feel good, but think how this is helping with, you know, our bodies, we're making our bodies stronger, our muscles stronger, our bones stronger, our heart stronger. You know, we're taking care of ourselves so we can feel better every day. All right, that's good. Open and then draw that in. So we squeeze it up and back. And try and imagine you're trying to get those shoulder blades to squeeze together as you extend those arms back. And notice I've still got the knees bent. All right, we're just gonna go another few seconds on there. And let's go three, take it two, and one, and just release. So let's get back to our chorus. That's it, and we're gonna take it over. So again, make this move as challenging as you want. So if you want to, you can make it bigger and deeper, or if you find that a bit too hard, then just keep that move slower, all right? You're not taking it as big. Okay. That's good. So next area we're working where everyone always likes to work is your core. I'm gonna be working through your waist and your abs. All right, that's good. We're gonna go another 10 seconds on here and then we'll take that to that next move. Let's go last five and four, three, two and one. Okay, so do, if you need some water, do grab some water. So let me just show you the next move. This one, you're gonna come into a really wide stance. You're gonna have your knees bent, tummy is pulled in tight, and all we're gonna do, we're gonna reach from one side, center, then straight over to the other from side to side. It's a really lovely side bend, so it's really working through those waist muscles, okay? So let's come into position, and I'm gonna count you down to my timer here. It's quite hard doing this all live, three, two, one. So reach that over, center, reach it to the side. So while you're doing this now, really think about where your belly button is and pull it in really tight to your spine for me. And you're just rotating, or not rotating, sorry, you're just reaching over to one side, center, reach it over and back. That's good, keeping that going. Reach it over and back, I'm just coming to you. So while you're doing this, really while you're doing it, think, Pull those tummy muscles in as tight as you can. Reach that across, centre, take it over. Centre and reach, all right, that's good. So we've got 30 seconds to go. Let's keep going and back. Check those knees are still bent for me. All right, that's good. Reach and over, doing well. This is really gonna help increase your flexibility as well. We've got another 20 seconds, doing really well. Reach that over, centre over, centre, and then we're back to our chorus. Is it chorus? No verse. All right, and we've got last few seconds, and each time, see if you can reach out a little bit further down, a little bit further, and that now is your waist and ab workout done. So let's bring it straight back. And what we're gonna do, we have got, I'm just looking at my notes, you carry on, look. Uh, your notes that is what you're doing today um and let me think so we've got you carry on we've got one two three we've got four more moves toning moves then we'll take a little wall break all right so let's reach that across keep that going from one side to the other and then the next one we're going to do is a little squat and a kick all right that's good and We've already done nearly 15 minutes. I mean, how crazy is that? Where has that gone? Let's go last five. Take it four, go three, two, and one. All right, just march it out. So let me just show you the next move. Next one, we are gonna do a squat to a kick. 
squat down and then add a kick all right now this one is toning but it's also going to elevate that heart rate it's going to push it up so if you're ready let's get ready three two and one so give me a squat and now give me a kick and squat and kick that's good so key things while we're doing these squats really make sure that you are keeping those knees behind the line of the toes and here's a really good tip just imagine you're keeping those toes slightly lifted so imagine there's i don't know like a little eggshell underneath your toes so then what we're doing is we're keeping all the weight through the back okay so then we're not putting any pressure through those knees jo knee joints we're then really keeping that work is being focused through the legs and the glutes oops bad balance all right and give me 10 more seconds so it's that nice low squat and come up to kick take it low squat and kick a few more well done and let's go two more timing's a little bit out we're doing approximately 60 seconds and one more for luck um okay let's go for it and take it back across reach it over and back really good and keeping that going you just come in and look there timer right it's fine it's really multitasking looking at that timer there that there and, and my notes but we can do it we can do so much more than we realize funny isn't it all right let's keep that going let's go for another 15 seconds then officially my favorite move one and only favorite move is coming up next and let's go four go three two and one and just march it out so now it's all about inner thighs and outer thighs wrong way around inner thighs outer thighs so for this one what i want you to do is be in a slight um very slight knee bend tummy is tight arms in front and all we're going to do is lift one leg from one side to the other alternating okay so let's get ready we're going to come into position knees are slightly bent engage that core tummy pulled in arms in front let's go three two one so just laterally lift and lift so we're alternating that leg lift okay so what we're doing here benefit of this is you are working your abductors and adductors we're still working primarily through the glutes as well but it's just really good because your body travels in three different planes of motion all right we move forwards and backwards is considered one then laterally sideways is considered two which is what we're doing now and then also three is rotationally which we're doing and have done as well and it's really important in a workout that you always engage all three ranges of motion all right, so stay with me. You are doing really well. So you can probably really feel that burn now, feel that challenge. Let's just keep going, doing well. So you have got 10 seconds. Just keep lifting from side to side. Every lift, you are getting stronger. And let's go three, take it two and one. Oh, all right, let's bring that straight back to our chorus. That's it, first, no chorus, and just bring that over. All right, so remember, you can make this move as big as you want or keep it small. The great thing is with exercise, it's about finding what works for you because this isn't about anyone else. This is literally about you. It's your journey, it's your body. And the key thing is about finding exercise you like. All right, that's good. Keeping that going, doing really well. And then we just have got two more moves. Then we're gonna have a little pause and a little water break. All right, so let's go another 10 seconds from now. Reaching up over and back. And let's go ready, last five, take it four, three, two, and one. So next move, plie squat. Now for this one, we go wide, all right? And we're gonna turn those toes out to a 45 degree angle we're going to pull the shoulders back tummy is tight and we're literally just going to come down and up simple as that so let's get ready three two one 60 seconds 
So plie squat now. So key thing here, again, keep this fully engaged. And also let's really think about having super good posture. So pull those shoulder blades back and let's do this and keep that body nice and straight. Imagine you're a puppet being pulled up by a piece of string. So the crown of the head is being lifted up, lower it down and back, come down and push back up. And also with this, still keep those toes slightly lifted for me. So then again, we're ensuring all the weight's coming through the heels. That's good. And we've got another 30 seconds. Now, if you want to, you could go even a little bit lower. Each time, just go a little lower and back. And again, maintain that good upper body posture for me. Tommy is pulled in. That's it. Doing really well. So we've just got one more toning move after this and we'll take a little bit of a water break. All right, let's go last 10 seconds and hold lower for me. Hold it low for me. That's it, and give me five more. That low, five, take it four, three, two, and one, and walk those feet in. And let's come over, let's go straight into our cardio. Reach it across, and back, and across. That's good. Nice control, doing really well. That's good. And as I said, just think what you are doing. You are investing in your future health. Every time you exercise, you're getting fitter and stronger. And obviously we are massively increasing your energy levels. So we've got one more move, and then that is our total body. We've then worked all the areas, and we've got a little twist for the second round, because I'm gonna keep it fun for you. All right, let's just go five, take it four, three, two, and one. Okay, so for the next one, this time now, what I want you to do is we are going to reach up and do a tiny little squat. All right, so we're going to come up onto our tippy toes and do a little squat back. All right, so then we're working through the lower legs. So let's get into position, stand with your feet hip width distance apart. Let's go three, two, one. So reach up and then tiny little squat. Then come up, push those arms in front and give me that tiny squat. And remember, when we come to that squat, toes are lifted, keep that weight behind and then up onto that calf raise. So what I want you to do, hold that calf raise up for as long as you can, then bring it back down. Another great thing here is, you know, whoops, we're really then working balance. Clearly I need to work on mine. So come up and then bring it back down. And this is where your body is so amazing, all the different things. This is where we can make exercise fun, that we can really focus on so many different components. So we're working here now, balance. We've also been working flexibility. We've been working coordination. So many aspects to being fit and healthy and strong. All right, give me five more seconds. Up on those tiptoes, back down. And then last one, how long can you hold it for? Whew. And release. Right, so what I'm going to say now is let's quickly have a look at the time. Let's grab some water. I know I need this um, so much. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. I thought I was going to spill it. Okay, but I'm going to choke on it. <clears throat> so we have done one round. Are you up for doing a second round? But a second round with a twist. We're going to make it a little bit different. Similar moves, but I'm just gonna tweak them very slightly. So all we're doing is this once more, and then we're gonna go into a cool down stretch and you are gonna feel amazing. So let's have a little look. If you're still with me, let's keep going. So we're gonna go back to a move number one. So remember, we did our shoulder circles. This time we're gonna do it, but we're gonna add a little bit of a cardio move to it, all right? So then we're doing two things at once. We're toning, burning calories, getting fit, literally ticking off every single box. So bear with me, let me just reset this, reset. Okay, and let's go. Let's just get straight into it. So give me those shoulder circles, but give me a little toe tap in front, all right? Toe tap in front. That's it, and what I'm gonna do at 30 second point, I'll let you know, and then you can take those arms back in the opposite direction. And again with this, don't let those arms drop. Make sure you are keeping them at shoulder height for me. All right, toe tap 
toe tap. All right, now take it back, circle it back the opposite way and give me that tap, tiny, tiny tap. So this one here, what we're doing is working through the shoulder joints. And of course the other thing is, great thing is when you work out, you work through your joints, you increase what's known as your synovial fluid. So it's like you're oiling your joints as well. Okay, that's good. So are your arms feeling heavy? Mine certainly are. Um, let's just keep that going. We've got five more seconds. We can do it. Five. Let's go four. And this is why you don't need weights. How heavy do your arms feel right now? Let's go three, take it two and one. Right, next one. Let's get back to it and bring it across. So just 30 seconds. Reach that over. And for me as a trainer, what I love to do is educate everyone while we're working out, understand why we work out, understand the benefit. Because I think the more knowledge you have about how and why your body's working, kind of in a way gives you more motivation to work out. It's like, oh, I see that's gonna make me feel better. That's gonna help me look after my bones, my joints. Then it gives us more of an incentive. All right, doing really well. Reach out across. And remember, you can travel this around your room. Make the most of the space that you have got. So next one, we're gonna do slightly differently. We're gonna work your arms, triceps. This time, let's do it with a slight change. So instead of doing it like this, we're gonna have the elbows up, but we're just gonna do a tap back, keep the elbows high and just do an extension on that. So let's get ready. Let's go start like this. Three, two, and one, and tap. Tap it back, but keep those arms lifted. You've got a slight lean forward, so I'm not directly up, and just tapping that foot back. Key thing here, um, elbows are directly up, and my palms, can you see? They're facing inwards, facing each other, and keeping that going. That's good. And this one here is really nice as well for posture. But, you know, we often work the front of the arms, the biceps, often the triceps don't get used so much in daily activities. That's why it's really important when we're doing a workout always to engage them. All right, keeping that going. So we've got those elbows up, those hands come in, extend and then straighten back. Keeping that going doing really well that's it okay are they feeling challenging so remember when that challenge kicks in this is the bit where the muscles are really then growing they're getting stronger so it's like we always need to reach that point of challenge to change and then it's like we then need to only do endure it for about 15 seconds and then we're done all right let's go last five four three two one and one. All right, well done. Just shake out those arms for me. So let's bring it straight back and we're back to our verse. Re reach that across. So again, travel that around the room. We're doing that 30 seconds. And move that from one side to the other. Really good. So I'm just coming in close, looking at the time on there. That's good. So we're nearly already at 30 minutes. He is literally flying by on there. Keeping that going. All right, give me another 10 seconds of these. The nice thing is with this move is this is kind of doing the lateral and rotational. So we're working so many extra smaller little muscle groups as well. All right, we are now done on that one. So next one, we're gonna work those chest muscles. So pec deck, this one, we're just gonna do it with a nice toe tap in front. So to start with, we're doing it stationary. This time we're gonna add that little cardio move. Arms up, palms face forwards, and let's tap and squeeze. Now again, travel this around the room. You don't have to be in one spot. You can move that around. So it's a tap. And also just make sure for me, you are keeping your elbows at shoulder height. It's very easy to drop. Then it's having a completely different effect. What we want to be sure that we are doing is really keeping those elbows a drawing in. All right, that's good. And we're keeping them shoulder height for me. And tap that foot. All right, that's good. Just 
checking. We're still connected. We are still connected. All right, that's good. Squeeze and back. Tap and back. All right, that's good. We've got 20 seconds to go. Let's make sure we're keeping those elbows nice and high. And really just imagine you're squeezing something in. Tap, squeeze. Tap and squeeze. 10 seconds to go. All right, that's good. Let's count you down. Last five. Let's go five. Take it four and three, two and one. And just release those arms for me. Okay, so let's get ready. 30 seconds and just bring it straight back to our cardio move and just reach out across. And really with this, really exaggerate taking that arm over because what we're then doing is we're really then working and engaging those core muscles. So we're really working into your obliques as well. So it's a really lovely way to shape your waist. All right, that's good. Reach and then really imagine you're just pushing something over. And as I said, the great thing is you can make this move as dynamic as you want. You control the intensity of this workout. How cool is that? So if you want to now think, I want this to feel harder, make it bigger for me, all right? If you think you want it to feel easier, make it smaller. See, I'm just here teaching you. It's all down to you on how you want to feel during this workout. You adapt it to suit you. Okay, so we are now going to get ready to do the next move. So we did this one for your back. This time now, we're going to imagine that we are rowing. All right, we're going to row and we're just going to tap a foot back. Okay, so let's imagine we're on a rowing boat. We're going to, well, rowing boat, I don't know, something like that. Let's go three, two, one. So pull and in front, pull and in front. Squeeze those shoulder blades together for me. All right, so we squeeze and just tap that foot back. And again, imagine you are pulling something really heavy and try and picture your shoulder blades squeeze together. And this is also, these sort of exercises are really good to help improve our posture. And I think so many of us now are, you know, if we're working from home, if we're working on computers, doing a lot on social media, then it is affecting our posture. That's where it's really good doing these sort of exercises to really help open up through the chest, strengthen through the back. Okay, that's good. Keeping that going, doing really well. Last little bit coming up and squeeze. So imagine we're rowing, pulling that in front, drawing those shoulder blades together. That's good. And let's go three, take it two and one. All right, so let's bring it straight back now and take that over. So the good news is we have way under, I think, I'm working this out. Basically, we've got less than 10 minutes. And that is also then even including your cool down stretch. So we have nearly finished today's workout. That's why we're going to stick with this. Let's keep going. You've got this far. Don't give up now. All right, that's good. And keeping that going. Doing so well. And reach across. And remember, if you do need to, you can always um, just stop and quickly grab some water and then just continue when you're ready. All right, that's it. Reach across and over. That's good. And then we're going to get straight back into working those abs. You know, and a lot of people are saying, oh, I really want to work my abs. But you know, doing cardio, like this sort of move is incredible for your abs. In fact, I always think standing abs are way more effective personally than seated abs because a lot of people in the floor find they put a strain on their back and their neck. Okay, so um, let's go next move. This time now, we're going to do that waist twist, but we're going to add something extra to it. So we're going to come over, centre, over. Then we'll hold the arms up. Then we'll twist to one side, twist to the other. All right. So we're just going to add in that extra move. Let's come into position, toes out. Tummy is pulled in tight. Join in when you're ready. Reach it over, centre, over. Now hold it up, twist round. Keep your hips still for me. Twist to the side. Reach it over, centre, over, and come up. And reach it round and round. So think about what we're doing here. You know, I said to you, your body moves in different ranges of motion. So here we're doing the rotation, rotation. Now we're doing the lateral. 
and lateral. Add that rotation, rotation, take it to that lateral move. So this is really going to strengthen through your core and shake through your waist. Reach it over, centre, over, take the arms up and twist. Twist, remember we don't move the hips, we're just moving through that upper body and that's being controlled through your internal and external obliques. We're really focusing on isolating, working through those ab muscles. Twist, twist. Let's just go a couple more. Reach it over, centre, over. Let's finish off, one more. Twist that round as far as you can, and now to the other side, and then just walk those feet back in for me. Okay, let's bring it straight back now, and reach that across from one side to the other. That's it, doing really well. Nice control, big dynamic moves on that. And let's just think how many joints we're working on this. In fact, you think now, just think, shout out with me. The first joint, let's start upper body working down. So yes, you are right. We're working your shoulder joint, but also working your elbow joint, plus working the hip joint, your knee joint and your ankle joint. So look how many joints there. And obviously each joint is connected to muscles. So think how many different muscles, even ligaments and tendons you are working, how you are strengthening your body. All right, that's good. Let's have a little look at time. Let's go for another 15 seconds on this one. Then we're gonna go straight to that squat and kick. All right, that's it. And let's count you down. Let's go five, take it four, go three, two, and then one. All right, well done. March it out. So you just reset this. Bear with me. You still there? Okay. So for this one, let's get ready to do our squat and then give me a kick. All right. So let's go three, two, one. So squat, keep those toes lifted, then give me a kick. Squat that down and give me that kick. So remember, toes lifted up, kick. Squat that back and kick. And again, do these slowly. There's no rush with these. Take your time. Focus on where we're working. So this one really here is amazing for the entire lower body. Squat and kick. Plus, we're working flexibility. When we kick that leg up, you're also then engaging your core when we do that leg extension and lift. Lift it up and back. Amazing, keeping that going, doing really well. And just take that squat, give me that kick. Squat down, give me that kick. Last little bit, let's just go four more squats. So let's count these, let's go four and kick. Take it three last time of doing these today, kick. Let's go two, kick, and now last one and kick. And well done. Let's bring it straight back now. Let's take that to that, reach it across. We've only got a few more of these verse moves to do and reach one side to the other and travel that. Let's go, if you can, take it backwards. Now, let's add a little bit of fun because we're getting near the end. Let's bring it forwards. And if you can, take that back, travel that across. Use the most amount of room you can, but you have space that you have. All right, that's good. And let's travel it back once more, go back. And then let's finish off coming straight back towards me. There you are. And we're on to my favorite move, still my favorite move. This one, we're not tweaking this one because it's just perfect as it is. So knees are bent, tummy is tight, arms in front. Let's get ready to work those inner and outer thighs and lift. So again, you now know that this is what we call a lateral move. Make sure you're not bringing that leg, we're not kicking it in front nor back. Remember, it's just staying literally like this. It's like a pendulum going from one side to the other. Keep those tummy muscles in, knees stay bent and lift. Just picture where you're working, all this area here. Keeping that going. All right, that's good. And just lift from one side to the other. That's good, I'm just moving, just checking. Everything's all right, technically, fingers crossed. All right, that's good. And let's keep that going. We have got 30 seconds left of this. So let's really focus, feel that working. Last time we are doing this move today. That's good. 
and lift. Keep that going. All right, well done. Who can feel the burn? Who can feel that challenge? We've got 20 seconds, but we know it's at this point now is when it's really, really taking effect. You've got 15 seconds. And then last 10. I'm going to count you down those last five. And let's go. Five, take it. Four, three, two, and one. Well, 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 but we know it's a well because it works. All right, let's bring it across. We've so nearly finished. We've got, let me think, let me think. What we're gonna do, we've just got two moves, two moves, and then we're stretching. How cool is that? So reach that across and let's do that again. Travel it back. Let's go back and now bring it in front, in front. That's it. And just keep traveling out around the room. We've got another 15 seconds of this and we're gonna do Plie squats and reach across, across, and then take it back, back. Okay, and let's now hold it right there. And we're gonna go plie squats. So take those feet nice and wide for me. Shoulders are pulled back, tummy is pulled in, toes are out to a 45 degree angle. Let's do it. This is actually gonna be our last exercise. Then we'll finish on our verse because we've done loads of the cast with doing those intervals. So let's go three, two, one. So take it down and push it back up. Now keep your toes lifted for me. That is really important. Drive all the weight through the heels and make sure this upper body, I want it as straight as you can get it. All right, nice control. And while you're doing these, feel proud of yourself. You've done this full workout today. All right, it's amazing. So let's just keep going and take it down and push back up. Squat down and push up. That's good, squat down. Let's just keep going, you and I, we're in this together. We're gonna keep going to the end. Now what we're gonna do for the last little bit on this, let's from now, let's hold it down. Let's just pulse it a little bit lower if you can. Go lower, lower, really feel that through there. Again, keep those tummy muscles in, keep that um, upper body nice and straight and let's go five more from now take it five four three two and one put those feet in and let's just finish off now bring that across we've just got do you want the good news 30 seconds left of these then we're going to drink water and we're going to stretch so what we're going to do this last little bit let's travel it back let's go back back and i'm amazed we've only had one cat I think, do we have a cat come in? Perhaps we didn't even have a cat come in. Can't even remember, forwards. And let's just go, last 10 seconds. Nearly there, we've nearly finished. Five, let's go four, take it three, two and one. And amazing. What I want you to do now is we're gonna pull this down. So just march it out on the spot for me. If you want to, you can grab some water. I know I'm going to grab some water. Um, let's just have this now um, and then we're going to do a nice cool down stretch mm -hmm. mm. don't you just love <laughs> drinking water when you've worked out it is a literally there is nothing else you want to drink once you've done a workout so let's now take that to a cool down stretch so let's just do a little toe tap just shake out your arms so really well done with that workout today. You know, and the great thing is you can always come back, you can do this workout again, I guess, because I think it's staying here for Women's Health Weekenders. Um, and it's just showing that, you know, we can all get fit, we can all do it at home in a teeny tiny amount of space, and you can do it also without needing any equipment. So let's go for doing a calf stretch. Take one foot back, hands are on that bent leg, lean into it. I really want you to make sure you can feel that stretch in that leg behind. So just hold that there, really good. And just lean into it. And again, it is important when you're doing a stretch, you can specifically feel it in that area. Okay. So what I want you to do now is, let's step that foot in front, take the opposite foot behind, hands are on that bent leg, and just again, feel that stretch through the calf muscle. So you, you have worked every single muscle in your body today. That's good. 
holding that there. Again, if you want to lean a little bit further into it, hands are on that bent leg, feel that stretch back of the leg behind through the calf muscle. All right, now bring that in front. Let's go for doing a hamstring stretch. So we're gonna bend this leg, take this one out straight, hands are on the bent leg, and imagine you're pushing your bottom up. So now what we're doing is we're stretching that hamstring. And what happens when you stretch, it's like the muscle fibers, we pull them apart and then they go back together. But what happens there is it just means we prevent muscular soreness. But the best thing I personally think about stretching is it helps realign your body. All right, hands are on that bent leg. Just lift it a little bit more, intensify that stretch. And now let's change, take that to the other leg, hands on that bent leg. And again, just feel that all through back of the upper thigh. Doing really well, that's good. Okay, so for the next stretch, I can't really see my foot, but you get what we're doing. Next one, if you need to, you can use a wall for balance. Let's just bring one leg up, supporting knee is bent, and then kind of tilt the pelvis. So you are feeling this through the front of the thigh. Holding that there. This one will test your balance, certainly testing mine. Let's see what happens. And again, really key, this supporting leg, don't lock it out. Have the knee bent. Let's now take that to the other side and now reaching that over. Okay, that's good. Really good. Feeling that again through the front of the thigh. And let's now do upper body. So for this one, imagine you are hugging a big beach ball, all right? Knees are bent. So what I'm doing is I'm now stretching through your upper back. All right, so give that big beach ball a nice big hug. Hold that there and really think, separate those shoulder blades. That's good. Well done. And now let's reverse. And now, so we're doing the opposite. We're gonna stretch up through your chest. So just lifting up, feel that stretch through those chest muscles. It's good. And these are nice stretches to do anyway, every day to help with posture and just release and let's do a tricep stretch. So you take one arm up, just ease that, just feel that through the back of the upper arm. Holding that there. And let's take the other one up. So imagine you're trying to get those fingertips to touch down through the shoulder blades. Okay, and then release. Amazing, so that is your, let me get it for you, you've just done my lower body cardio, full body, sorry, cardio workout. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, what can I say? We did it. The internet, I think everything has worked. So I just wanted to give you one of these. There's a big, sweaty high five. And well done for today's training.